Hello my disciples, Father Andrew here. Today I'm going to be talking about something important to me. What it means to be a Scarletist, what it's like, and what it's about. Getting straight into it, Scarletism is a way of life and a way of living, not just about worshipping the Scarlet Queen. And it's a way of life I'm now going to go into more detail on. First part I'm going to elaborate on being its goal, which is incredibly simple. Helping other people through helping yourself first, which is done through the following process. Firstly, coming to terms with the fact that you aren't perfect, you never will be, but there are still ways you can improve. And just because you aren't perfect doesn't mean you're the worst person on earth. And then going on to step two, which is actively planning and seeking out advice to improve. The Gospel of the Scarlet Queen having plenty of good advice you can draw from, ready to help you walk the path of the Lord's light and find the improvement you're seeking. And then once they finally find what they're looking for, then there's stage three actively self-improving and going through the steps to become a better person. Which, with time, will help them become a better person, and once they actually have that advice in them and they've seen that it works, they can hold that information and pass that on to other people who need it. Which then spreads from person to person, helping people improve, making the world a better place and helping people feel more confident in themselves. Which, over time, will generally make the world slowly a better place. And with that, now we can move on to the second part of Scarletism that I want to elaborate on, and that being the actual advice it gives. Most of it in the Gospel being page 97 and onwards. But regardless, I'm going to be blunt, for real, straight up, the advice of Scarletism has really helped me out. Before Scarletism, before the Scarlet Queen, before all of this, I'm going to be honest, I was legitimately depressed and bored and just tired of life altogether. But Scarletism and all of this has given me a purpose. I'm now in a position where I can take what I've been through and use that to help other people. And through that, I'm carrying out the main goal of Scarletism. I've improved, I've grown, and I'm using that to help others. And I'm continuing to improve myself through my work as well. Just recently, I did a massive overhaul of the Trollungan ragdolls I made a while ago. I've removed the need for CSGO, I've reduced the number of parts, I've gave them more accurate drawing accurate textures, colourable wings so you don't have to open pack 3 to change the colour, among so much else. And I'm taking more care of my physical health. But anyway, that's enough waffling on about that, now I'm going to read a few bits of like actual advice from the Gospel, so you can get an idea of the kind of advice it holds. 109 The Helping Hand to sow seed sparingly is to reap sparingly, to sow greatly is to reap greatly. As for the kindness you give, it's much the same. A caring heart, a helping hand, a cheerful giver, much the same will be repaid. Which basically means, if you help people out, chances are people are going to help you out in exchange. 110. Bearing the weight. Do unto others what you would wish for thou self. Do not withhold help from those who deserve, when you may be able to do such. When one is heavy laden, bared upon by their works, imagine oneself in such a position, and where one can, divide the weight of the heavy laden. For many hands lighten a load, and when there is dark times, be there for your fellow man, be a light among the darkness. Which can be summarised as, if you see someone struggling, just imagine yourself in their position. Would you want to be in that position? No, so go help them out. Next is 114, Lovers. When seeking love, know this. Be thyself authentic and truthful, for falsehoods are easily shattered, but do not undersell oneself either. And know this, to find love do not hide away, but do not chase and hound. But once found, be completely humble, kind, patient, bearing with one another in love. This basically boils down to just be yourself and eventually you're going to find love. And when you do find it, just be humble and kind of each other, don't be an idiot, and that's how you stay together. Next we have 107, pain and heart. Every day pain is present somewhere, unavoidable, coming in countless form, but not inherently evil is its mere presence. It can be a teacher of what to avoid, a sign of dedication, even part of something beautiful as the birth of a child, and as contrast giving pleasure a purpose. But pain also gifts upon us the presence of compassion, empathy, to feel and understand the struggle of your fellow man, a struggle made lighter with a helping hand. Which can be summarised down to pain being unavoidable, but it exists for necessary reasons. Next we have 120, feeling. Anger, fear, love, hate, joy, sadness, pain, pleasure, all have a place as part of the mind, soul and body. And even in their extremes they have some uses, but you are to control them, not be used by them, to keep their weights in balance. 
which basically means all of your emotions have a place inside you, even the most extreme variants, but don't let them control you. And we're going to end this with 137 forged from flaws. To find greatness to grow, one must first know their weaknesses, and from them find and forge strength. What was once your ball and chain shall become your flail, hammer or mace. Which in summary means to take your weaknesses and find a way to turn them into strengths. And also yes, I am fully aware that the ones I just read off were all in like a random order. I picked those randomly intentionally, if you want to go read more, the gospel will be linked in the description. And with that, now I can move on to the third thing, and that being what it's actually like to be a Scarletist. What it's like actually following this way of life. And I gotta be completely blunt with you, it's pretty good. Being my authentic self has put me around people who are similar to me who I get along really well with. And following the path of Scarletism has allowed me to actually give some really good advice to people who need it. Most of those people now being my friends. People who I really get along with. Now I have more people who I can rely on and people who I can be real with that... I'm gonna be honest, before Scarletism, I didn't think I'd ever have this many people who I could be real with, but here I am. I mean this genuinely, Scarletism has greatly improved my way of life, it's greatly improved a lot of things, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm not perfect, definitely, there's a lot of stuff I could improve on. Like my ability to talk to large groups of people live, or live stream to large groups of people, and not have to worry about fumbling and saying something stupid. My physical health, I really want to start putting on some muscle and getting stronger. Need to improve my cardio a bit more among a lot of other things. But the key point is I've accepted that I have flaws, that perfection's not possible, but there's no reason to not try and improve. And from that, I've become my genuine self and able to be my genuine self with people. And honestly, I've never been happier. I'll, I will potentially be happier if I continue to improve, but that's the whole point. I'm still walking the path. I myself am not perfect. No one is. And that's the whole point of Scarletism. Accepting that you have flaws and that you can improve. And once you do find a way to improve, growing to be a better person and using what you've learned to help others. And so, in summary, Scarletism really means a lot to me. It's not just some religion, it's a whole way of life and I'm genuinely hoping that by putting this video out, I can pass this information on to others and help them improve in the same way it helped me improve. To help others gain confidence and grow as people. To slowly but surely make the world a better place. Which is, in the end, the whole goal for this. And with that, that brings us to the end. If any of this has gotten your interest, as I mentioned, Gospel Link will be in the description. Along with my Discord, I forgot to mention that, silly me. But yeah, alright, have a nice day, afternoon or night, wherever you are. Hope you have a great time. Hopefully I'll be seeing you around again. Goodbye.